On this episode of Designing Spaces, we'll talk to a trusted local paving company and see how they've been making our roads, parking lots, and driveways safer and more reliable for decades. Plus, lots more. It's time to design. Let's go. Family owned and operated, R&D Paving started with just a few employees and a strong commitment to quality and customer satisfaction. From the very beginning, the company emphasized meticulous attention to detail and high standards in every project. Let's explore the inspiring story of how a small family paving business grew into the company it is today, transforming landscapes and communities along the way. My father and my uncle worked for Pike Industries for a very long time. Uh, they decided in 1990 to venture off on their own to start their own paving company. We started out doing driveways, handwork, a lot of the jobs that the larger companies didn't have the time to do or the capability. But being that they came from a larger company, they had the skill and the ability to be able to go and do larger jobs. So then they were used as a subcontractor to do jobs like a uh, parking garage underneath a large building in Hanover um, to the Kangamangas Highway in the White Mountains of New Hampshire and Interstate 93. Number one for us is that our customers are happy at the end of the day. We want every customer to come away wanting to hire us for another job. Repeat customers are extremely important in what we do. Obviously in paving, the attention to detail is very important because you want every single job to come out quality. And being a family owned business, it's important that me and my brother also know that the guys that are out in the field are paying attention to detail. Every aspect from straight lines to, you know, perfect rolling, no roller marks to the trucks driving safely from the plant to the job. We're changing the, the narrative of paving companies having a bad rep, mainly because the industry's changed so much. Back in the day, there was less technology, a lot of older guys, uh, a little rough around the edges. You had a lot of younger people coming into it now, a lot more technology. All my guys wear uniforms. They wear the same shirts. They have to wear good work pants, good work shoes, work boots. They have to be respectful on the job. There's a lot of companies out there that don't, and r and Paving, we want to change that narrative. We can all look good while we do this job, which is a very important job that has to be done every day throughout the entire world. Working for the family company is great. Even if you're not family, you feel like family. Uh, we're a really close-knit group. No matter who you're with throughout the day, you get along with them pretty well. When we show up in the morning to do someone's driveway, it's an amazing feeling to make their old destroyed driveway into something brand new. The homeowners, if they're there, they'll always thank us. They love the work. It's a great feeling. What it means to me to be a part of this, uh, this legacy in this family company is really just growing in my father's, my grandfather's, my uncle, and my great uncle's footsteps. Uh, learning everything about the business that I possibly can every single day. I'm proud to be a part of this family business and to keep the legacy going for the next generation. We offer reclaiming, milling, uh, obviously paving. Um, we can ledge pack a driveway, do shoulder gravel. Some of the different projects that we work on, we'll do anything from tennis courts, um, running tracks for school districts. We'll do town and county roads and state roads uh, for municipalities. We'll do commercial parking lots for local shopping plazas and any private roadways that are out there for developments, associations, condos, townhouses. New paving for a home obviously cleans it up. A nice focal point when you enter someone's property. It keeps the inside of the house clean, the inside of a garage clean. There's less tracking of dirt. And then for the winter, a new driveway is so much easier to keep clean and more cost effective to, to be able to keep clean than it is an older driveway or a gravel driveway. When it comes to a business, it just screams out, we're investing in our property. It's the first thing you see when you drive by or pull into a company like a restaurant or a commercial plaza. It's safe, well-lined parking lots, uh, clearly marked, it makes it much safer for pedestrians to walk into businesses or for people to pull in and out. Um, and then back to the winter maintenance, uh, it's so much more cost effective to have a newer parking lot 
and the ability to keep it clean and for it to stay clean there longer uh, is dramatic compared to a, a gravel parking lot or an older, unmaintained uh, asphalt parking lot. From the very beginning, the company's commitment to quality set them apart, winning the trust and loyalty of their customers. We selected R&D because of our vast experience with them over the years and their family. They worked around our, our schedule to accommodate us so we could remain open for business and not have to close for such an extensive job. They came in on day one and they reclaimed the existing pavement in the three lots. Day two, they came in and paved the entire property and then on day three they striped and we were able to open the restaurant for business that evening so we had minimal impact. With the Homestead Restaurant, it's a very busy restaurant. Scheduling around their business hours is always something you have to take into consideration. And then being multiple level parking lot on a hill where there's a lot of water and drainage issues, we had to work with another contractor that we deal with to put some new drainage in to be able to get the water to flow from one parking lot to another without disturbing any of the landscaping or undermining any of the new asphalt. Um, and then it's working with subcontractors, landscapers, to be able to have a nice property that he could be very proud of and, and give him the curb appeal that he wants for a good 20 to 30 years. Through strategic investments in technology and a skilled workforce, R&D Paving Inc. expanded its services, taking on larger and more complex projects. We have the paving division, which we have one big main production crew. Then we have the reclaim division, which also is the small crew too that does asphalt driveways, hand work, small parking lot. So they do all the reclaiming, the grading, the shoulder gravel, um, the small paving. They do all that. Then we also have the milling now um, that we just recently started getting into this year, which is we have a four foot cat mill. It's got a four foot drum on it. You can mill any depth, anything from shaving a sixteenth of an inch to full depth milling. It puts it right into the back of a truck, hauls it away. That's a huge aspect of the pavement industry, which we just now started getting into. So between paving, reclaiming, and milling, that would be our three divisions. And you could also even add the snow division during the wintertime, which technically could be considered a fourth division. We provide uh, construction aggregates, hot mix, asphalt, and ready mix concrete. In the case of R&D, they, for the most part, use aggregates and hot mix, and they're used on uh, site work, driveways, highway work. We at Old Castle like to consider all our customers as business partners, so the better they do, the better we do. So whether it be production of our aggregates, hot mix, or other services we offer R&D, the better we do for them is the better it's going to be for us in the end. From driveways to highways to commercial complexes, the company's landmark projects stand as a testament to their expertise and commitment to excellence. The New Hebron Road project up in Plymouth is a uh, project where there was a drainage issue. Uh, Ambrose Construction called us and needed our help. We went in and chewed up the existing asphalt. Then uh, they came in after us and raised the road. And then after that, we went in and fine graded the road, compacted it, and we paved it. What that did is it increased the elevation of the road so the water could sheet drain off and made it so the road should last a good long time. Despite their growth, family values remain at the heart of R&D paving, ensuring a legacy of integrity and dedication. We are very proud of where we've been able to to go since the early stages. And I remember playing baseball and seeing these local teams with the names of companies that I knew of on their backs. And I always thought that that would be great that if someday the company my father started that I started working with at a young age could someday be on the back of my kid's shirt and how that was like a stepping stone of where you've made it. We do give back to the community throughout different sporting organizations, local food pantries, animal shelters. My wife, my brother's wife are big into helping out with the local animal shelters. I would say the future plans for R&D is to keep going the way that we're going, keep doing the things that we're doing. You know, my father and my uncle started this business in 1990. We pride ourselves in continuing our name, continuing our legacy, continuing to grow this business to make them proud. 
Another aspect of our business is how we treat our employees. We really, really pride ourselves in taking care of our employees because at the end of the day, we can't do everything ourselves. If we want top quality, we want guys to come to work every single day and wake up in the morning and actually want to work for us, we have to treat them accordingly. And in order to be successful in this business, and in any business really, is having your employees want to be there and want to work hard for you. And the way you're going to do that is by treating them properly and making everybody understand that we're all in this together and we want to continue to grow and really establish something special here. For more information on R&D Paving Inc., visit rdpavinginc.com or go to our website at designingspaces.tv. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show, or to become part of Designing Spaces, go to our website, designingspaces.tv. On this episode of Inside the Blueprint, we'll gain insight into the world of paving and follow along as they approach each project with dedication while utilizing a fleet of modern, specialized equipment, plus lots more. Paving projects have far-reaching implications that extend beyond the immediate benefits of improved roads and driveways. They contribute to economic development, environmental sustainability, and infrastructural resilience. Let's go inside the blueprint to learn more. The importance of a well-paved area is one, curb appeal. I mean, curb appeal is huge. When people drive by a business, they want to see an owner that takes care of their business, takes pride in not just what's on the inside, but what's on the outside. And asphalt really brings things to life. You don't want rough parking lots that have potholes. That's how people trip. You can't have a lot of cracks. You also gotta be careful with having it too slippery when it's raining. So there's a lot of things that are important when it comes to maintaining your asphalt, but having a nice paved parking lot. We know several people that really, really have improved their business by paving their parking lots. Every community wants to feel safe. Residents want to be able to drive back and forth from work. A well laid out, uh, paved, maintained neighborhood or town is the safest and best way to be able to get residents and commerce back and forth throughout a community, whether it's the goods that you buy at a store or whether it's your children getting dropped off by a school bus. A well laid out neighborhood with nice, smooth, clean streets is the safest and most productive way. Whether it's a driveway or a highway, R&D Paving Inc. understands the cost and timing constraints associated with professional paving. Industries that we typically work with, we do work with landscapers, we work with a lot of site contractors, developers, and then municipalities, town, state. Uh, we work with a lot of associations, whether it's your local condo association, townhouse association, maintain their parking lots. All projects will make sure are coned off. We have the proper signage leading to and from the project out onto the road. Um, if it's a commercial property, we may have to ribbon it off, have detours set up, so that way the general public, whether they're going through the neighborhood or whether they're going to business or work, feel safe and have the correct area to be able to walk and get in and out. We make sure that each spring we have a company meeting where we have our HR department and our insurance carrier come in, have a, a briefing with all of our employees, uh, have a safety training from our laborers to our truck drivers to even our office personnel. The commercial services are a huge part of what we do every single day, every day, every year. And it really does go from paving, the reclaiming, the milling, the shoulder gravel, the snow plowing. 
year round. Some of the specialized services that we offer, first and foremost, would be reclaiming. That's a very uh, specialized piece of equipment. Uh, it's about 70,000 pounds, has over 200 teeth, fully pulverizes the asphalt, mixes it with the gravels underneath, creates a whole brand new base to be able to pave on top of. Uh, after it's all watered, graded, rolled, you now can pave on top of it. Um, another specialized service is the milling, which milling is similar to the reclaiming, except you typically don't go full depth all the time, but you can, but usually that's any, you can shave a sixteenth of an inch to milling two, three, four inches off, whatever it is you need to mill to then be able to pave back in. It gives you a better structure instead of paving just strictly on top of all the old junk asphalt, you can actually mill some of that off and then put a couple inches of brand new asphalt on top of it. When you do that, it can actually be a little bit cheaper cost-wise than reclaiming. When you pave a road or a parking lot, you have the edges that have a lip on them. Those edges might be an inch and a half, two inches, three inches. We have a shoulder gravel machine. We run right down the edges. So it's almost like a buffer um, off the edge of the road. And then snow plowing. That's all commercial based. That's a specialized service that we do. Typically from December on through March, you know, we're fairly busy with the snow plowing aspect of our business. Towns and contractors love it when it's a one-stop shop. When they know that they can get you to come and do a job from the beginning to end, you can come in, it's your company, your team, that's reclaiming it, your team and your company that's grading it, getting it ready for pave, and then it's your team that's coming in and paving it and finishing the job. The decision to, to make this investment in the paving at the restaurant was a difficult one because it is a huge investment. What made it most attractive, I think, is the opportunity to create nice curb appeal to go in conjunction with the nice addition we've put on the restaurant with some landscaping, and it just tied everything together for us. I've heard a number of times guests telling us that they've been driving by the restaurant for years and this is the first time that they've stopped in, and I have to believe it's because of the great curb appeal that we have at the homestead with all the enhancements that we've done in and around the building. The R&D guys were terrific with their budget, with their timing, with their scheduling. I can't say enough nice things about the opportunity to work with them. They've been great to work with over the years and we look forward to working with them in years ahead. In areas with significant temperature fluctuations, climate considerations are a top priority. Well, it's very important that we communicate well, and the reason for that is because we have different, different mobilizations. We have a lot of equipment that we move in and out, so we're gonna make sure we're communicating daily, uh, really, just because our schedule changes so much because uh, Mother Nature out there, when she wants the rain, we can't do all of our work. We have to basically make daily changes uh, to our schedule, and that's one of the most uh, difficult parts of our job. I generate the business for the company as far as uh, generate contracts. I meet with uh, municipalities, general contractors, and, and homeowners to go over their individual needs and uh, try to best uh, complete their jobs in an efficient way that uh, hopefully comes in under budget. The type of materials used in a paving project is critically important as it can impact the project's overall performance, durability, cost and maintenance needs. The uh, state and the federal government have experimented over the years with uh, glass, rubber, uh, sulfur and a number of other additives to come up with a product that's going to resist rutting and, and breaking down. So we make the material to those specifications uh, which are forever evolving to come up with a better product. Well, most of the work that R&D does is, is, specific, is under specification that the state of New Hampshire or the federal government uh, sets the specification for it. So we have stockpile management, we have an extensive quality control, quality assurance department that tests on a daily basis the aggregates, and as the job is produced at the hot mix asphalt plant, it's tested several times a day to make sure we're in spec and producing a quality product. Asphalt is one of the largest recycled products in the world. We offer a recommendation which allows us to go into a road and reclaim the asphalt, blending it into the gravels underneath, giving you a whole new product that then can be graded and paved upon. Or we can mill off a certain amount of that asphalt, bring it back to the plant and recycle it in a new mix and material that would then be put down onto that particular road or another road or parking lot. High quality paving extends the lifespan of infrastructure, 
reducing the need for frequent repairs and maintenance, which saves public funds. Durability and the maintenance on some of the projects we do, it all depends on budgets. Reclaiming, binder and top, that's how you're gonna get the most longevity out of your road. I mean, you could get 25 years before you touch that road again. Some towns wanna to try to cover as much area as they can for the cheapest amount of money. So they might look to just do one inch overlays, three quarter inch overlays, just to give it what I call a band-aid, which will make it good for a couple of years. Then after that, it might be going back into rotation to have to get redone. R&D Paving, we are a family owned business. We have been since 1990. We take a lot of pride in what we do every single day, whether it's in the office or out in the field. We expect our employees to take just as much pride. We want them to want to come to work every day. We want them to go home with a smile on their face and be happy of what they just did that day. You know, when you can drive down the roads in New Hampshire or drive by parking lots and you can look at those and say, I paved that whether it was 20 years ago or whether it was yesterday. Um, that's a really good feeling. And when you have employees that want to come to work every single morning for you, and they say good morning and you know that makes a big difference we just take tons of pride in our safety we take tons of pride in the quality of our work i take a lot of pride in my guys and how they look and how they present themselves um, when they're out on the road or when they're in the parking lot we're trying to make people aware of this industry and how important it is and that there are companies out there that will one look good when they do this they will make you look good if you decide to go with them. When it comes to your curb appeal, I mean, there's nothing better than a freshly paved driveway, parking lot, or roadway. It makes everything a lot better. R&D Paving, we're, we're here in central New Hampshire, and we're, you know, we're, in my opinion, the top asphalt um, company in this entire state, and we're gonna continue to keep doing that for decades to come. For more information about R&D Paving, Inc., visit their website, rdpavinginc.com. And of course, visit our website, insidetheblueprint.com. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to become part of Inside the Blueprint, go to our website, InsightTheBlueprint.com.